Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking With Me. Today I'm going to show you how to make kale. We call it sukuma wiki. So kale, collard green, it's all the different variety of the same family. So here I do have my kale. Mine is frozen. In the stores here too we get frozen. This I harvested summertime and chopped it all, put it in freezer bags in my freezer. So it is uh, defrosting, it's two pound. You could also use fresh kale from the store if you can find there. I also have three medium tomatoes chopped. I do have one large onion. I have cooking oil, I use canola, and I will use half a cup for the two pounds. I have one and a half bell peppers, and I have nor cube, I love nor cube, or you can find Maggi cube. This is a variety I just want to show you, but here I will be using for the two pounds, I will use six cubes of nor, and I have a teaspoon of salt. Okay, to start cooking, I have a half cup of oil already put there heating. I will add my onion. and continue stirring it and just make sure it's a uh, medium heat or high depending on how high your stove uh, or powerful how it is i will cook the onion until it's uh, soft and uh, maybe golden brown if you want or just translucent is good enough my onion has been cooking here and it's translucent and almost turning brown. So that is how I like it. Then the next thing I will add is the tomatoes. So since I have stirred my tomatoes, I will cover them and uh, let them cook a little bit. And meanwhile, since our nor cube are uh, hard cubes, they are not soft like Royco cubes or something else, I will just pound them to be ready. My cubes are pounded now. I will just pour them on top and another way see if you don't have the mortar for pounding you can just throw the whole cubes on top but do not stir at this moment let them cook with the steam don't stir them I mean because if you stir them they will burn your tomato sauce uh, just leave them on top and cover them and wait for the tomatoes to cook then you will stir all of it together my tomatoes have been cooking for about two minutes i will stir them now and now this is when i mix the nor cube the nor powder that i pounded i just mix it all here in the with the tomatoes then it's time now i will add my the tomatoes are cooked they haven't completely cooked but that's fine because now i will add my peppers the bell peppers and the kale on top Make sure when you're cooking, you have a big pot, eh? good so that, uh, yes, I know the vegetables might shrink, but if you are wa working with the frozen stuff like me, then you need a big pot ready for you. For you. So I will try to break whatever did not uh, defrost and it's soft and easy. 
and then now I will uh, I will stir a little bit but not much and just mix everything together now it's mostly broken this is the time you might need to increase your heating there because uh, everything is cold now and then I'll continue mixing and then we'll come back and show you how it looks after stirring my kale I had to cover it for like three minutes it's cooked and this is how it looks now and it looks really good and the aromas from the bell peppers and the nor cube is really good one thing i have to say is you don't have to use the bell pepper or the nor cube that was just my way i love it flavoring to add some flavoring you can also use a chilies chili flakes you can also use a curry powder you can use any kind of flavoring you like as long as you add it and cook it uh, appropriately so my kale is done before i turn off my stove i will now have to test for the salt the nor cube had salt so i did not put any salt in my food this is the time now i will test and see if the salt is good mm, the salt is good my kale tastes fantastic so whoever wants salt they can add later and that's the importance when you're using any salted uh, cubes or flavoring to your food make sure you add salt at the very end and this is for today my kale looks good i will go on turn off my uh, stove and uh, that's about it I have my plate of uh, kale, tripe, and ugali. It looks very delicious. Now you have an idea of how to present your kale. So if you like my presentation on how I made the kale, please like, subscribe, and share. Remember to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos when I upload. Until then, I'm going to enjoy my ugali and we will we'll see you then. Bye.